Hi, welcome to In His Presence TV broadcast. Where all things are possible. And they are today. We're sharing today on the Ministry of Angels Part 2. And we're going to talk about four ways, four ways to activate angels. Mm -hmm. Four ways to activate angels. And we're also offering an audio CD series, a four CD series today that you can buy online on the Ministry of Angels. And today I'm going to ask my wife to lead us into the presence of God with opening prayer. And she's going to play the piano underneath. And we're going to have some beautiful flow of music as you kick back the table and just enjoy right. the presence of God. You can feel the atmosphere already changing right That's now. Right. We uh, are excited about four ways, biblical ways, to activate angels in your life and your family's life because angels are assigned to you by God. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I believe that God sends his angel of goodness. He sends his angel of mercy and angels minister to you, for you, and with you. They minister to you. They minister to Jesus after he overcame the temptation with the devil on a 40-day fast. And angels came and ministered to him. Right. Aren't angels sent forth to minister for those who inherit salvation and then also they minister with you as your fellow servants in Revelation 19.10. Joanna, carry us up right. into the next level and release that unto right. the viewers. Yes. And we thank you for your friendship, your support, your prayers as the gospel is going around the world and the presence of God is releasing into the earth. Thank you for the emails yes. and the phone calls that you give to let us know what's taking place on your end because it's exciting to hear about the healings and the miracles and the salvations and the visitations from the Lord, dreams and visions people get and reintegrations as they listen to the broadcast. It encourages us and it helps inspire others. That's right. As Jesus is manifesting his glory in the earth through television and internet and the multifaceted ways which he's reaching around the world with his love today. God bless you, Joanna. Yes, and we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for our brothers and sisters right now. We thank you, Lord, for the miracles that you are bringing them. We thank you, Lord God, for the open doors you are providing, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that where they're hungry, you feed them, Lord. We thank you where they're thirsty, you give them drink, Lord. So today, Lord God, we pray for revelations, we pray for insight, we pray for understanding and words of knowledge, and we pray for your presence, most of all, Lord Jesus. To be in your presence means to see your face. Lord, we wanna see your face, God. We wanna know you more deeply, Lord God. So we pray for our brothers and sisters that need deliverance today. We command the angels of the Lord to bring forth deliverance unto their families, unto their finances in the name of Jesus to bring salvation, Lord God, to bring home the wayward son or the wayward daughter, Lord God, to bring forth deliverance from addictions in the name of Jesus. We just command the angel of the Lord right now to go and break every addiction in the name of Jesus. And now we pray your anointing over our broadcast, Father, that our friends, not be the same after watching today's broadcast because they're being touched by your presence where all things, all things, A-L-L, -L, are possible. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Oh, I feel the presence of Thank God. You, Jesus. Oh, goodness. It's going to be a great program. Fire, Lord. Fire. We just released the fire of God yes. to burn up every cord to eradicate by the sword of the Spirit, by the angel of the yes, Lord, to break the chains right. off of you and your household. Yes. I'm really picking up the Lord is breaking demon torment and witchcraft mm -hmm. that's been sent yes, against Lord. you. Thank you. I Lord. break the spirit of witchcraft. Yes, God. And we bless the one who sent it with salvation and the ministry yes, of angels God. and the love of God. That's right. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. That's right. Turn the other cheek. The love of God. Forgive 
even as your heavenly Father has also forgiven you. It's yes. easy in this atmosphere to forgive because yes. you're with the God who loves you, showing up right now where That's you're right. at. Yoke destroying, bondage breaking, anointing and angelic yes, ministry has begun. We're just gonna do a quick recap and we're gonna move in to the four ways in which you can activate angels. That first slide talks about the ministry of angels. Hebrews 1.14, are they angels, not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation. Angels ministers to us, for us, and with us. Also Hebrews 13.2, do not forget to entertain strangers, for unwittingly some have entertained angels unawares. There are three different forms in which angels manifest. They manifest as supernatural beings. They manifest in the likeness of men and also as invisible ministers that you can't see, which is the most common way. Right now you may not see angels, but you can feel their presence. And then angels are a variety of different kinds of angels. We're just going to name 10 real quickly. Messenger angels like Gabriel, warring angels like Michael, worship angels like Lucifer who took a third of the angels with him when he fell from his position of worship leader or the lead worshipers, and healing angels like at the Pool of Bethesda in the New Testament, protection angels like in Psalms 91, and then we also have additional angels. Uh, the provision angels that go out and get things, your provision, and they bring it back by God. Prosperity angels that will go before you and prosper the way. Writing angels that will give you supernatural reversals on things or a divine insight through inspired thought as they speak in your ear and guide you by the Holy Spirit's words as they come and speak them. Heralding angels that will herald the message of God, and then angels of new ideas and witty inventions. So there's just 10 kinds of angels. There's so many different kinds of angels. There's angels of inspired music and just oh, so many different things. But there's four ways, four ways to activate angels. And we're gonna look at these, four ways to activate angels. There may be more, but I just wanna share the four that the Lord has shown me. Uh, prayer, Matthew 26, 53. Presence, the presence of God, Isaiah 63, 9 and Psalms 22, 3. He inhabits the praises of his people. And when the praise comes up, his presence comes down and angels come with it. Proclamation, Psalms 103, 20. When we proclaim his word, angels hearken unto the voice of his word. And then also pain, vows, or generous giving can also release angels. And there's a number of verses that deal with that. Pain vows, um, generous giving will release the heritage of Jacob, which is the ministry of angels. If you go to Isaiah 54, if I, Isaiah 58, 14, then you shall delight in the Lord. And this is a chapter on fasting. We fasted, we prayed, we sought the presence of God. We, we literally come into the presence of God when we're fasting and praying and we're proclaiming and all of a sudden we have a heart of giving and it touches the heart of God and he responds by releasing the ministry of angels. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord and I will cause you, declares the Lord, Isaiah 58, 14, I will cause you to ride on the high hills. I will cause you to ride on the high hills and I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, which is the ministry of angels. Angels are transferable to one generation by the generational blessing to the next. You love to store up an inheritance for your children and your children's children, which is the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and release the generational blessing. Well, how do you think you got the things that you got? You got them by the grace of God, by the provision angels of God, by the prosperity angels of God, by the heralding angels of God, by the angels that came to minister to you, for you, and with you. You didn't do it on your own. You did it by the grace, the enabling power of the Holy Spirit, which is the ministry of angels. We're gonna look 
in a minute, but not yet. We're going to look in a minute at Job chapter 22, verses 26 through 30. But I want Joanna to minister a little bit, and we want to share some personal angel stories that will encourage you. That's right. Well, one of the stories I wanted to share with you this week is about um, deliverance and protection angels. I remember uh, when I was new in the Lord and I was learning about the spiritual things of God and I was learning about demons and I was learning about angels and, you know, things happening in the spirit realm. And one of the things that happened is I was getting attacked with nightmares, night terrors, and I'd be horribly attacked in the middle of the night and just wake up in paralyzed fear. Well, this one time I was sleeping and I uh, saw this demon head. It was this horrible, evil looking monster head. And it had someone that I knew in its eyes and it was headed right for me. And right before I could even say anything, I heard this sonic boom in the atmosphere and it was an angel who had um, struck it and struck it away from me. And that happened to me twice. And uh, that was pretty incredible that, uh, that that happened. And so I wanted to encourage you that, you know, if you're feeling alone or you're feeling like, you know, God's not answering you, I want to encourage you today and God does have an answer for you. You know, when Daniel was praying uh, in the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, he prayed the minute his words came out of his mouth. Heaven heard it and hell heard it. And hell's job, the enemy's job, is to stop God's will. But his words were heard and the angels were blocked by spiritual battle in the heavenlies. And so just be encouraged today that if this is you, that you've been praying and praying and praying, don't think that your prayers aren't being heard. They were heard the minute they came out of your mouth by heaven. And we pray today that David and I pray that the angel of the Lord will be released now, just as the archangels were released. We pray now, right, David, that the angels will be released in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we just release the ministry yes. of angels. We proclaim and declare yes, the ministry of angels. Instead of praying against the enemy right now, we're just releasing the glory of God into your place. Where let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, where you don't have to battle anymore. For the, the salvation is of the Lord. This battle is not for you, but the battle is the Lord's right now. I release the shalom peace of God right where you're at. The manifest name of Jehovah Shama. Shama. Yes, the Lord. Lord is present and he's ministering. I'm seeing healings yes. take place right now. Thank you, Lord. Again, you know, last week there were dental miracles and I'm seeing them happen again. God is doing dental miracles, literally seeing him fill teeth right now. If that's you, just say, Lord, I receive it. Some of you are tasting something in your mouth, almost takes like a copper or a metal. God is filling your teeth. Please email in or call in and share with us, send us pictures of what the Lord yes. has done because when the miracle angels are released, they recreate or create afresh that which was never there. It's a higher level of God's presence where he hovers over the face of the earth and when he speaks, the Spirit of God manifests or creates whatever is spoken in that moment. These are rare, holy moments. There it goes. Go ahead. Sing that. And as Joanna sings that, you go ahead and make it yours. She sings, you are well. Just say, I am well. Confess. Come out of agreement with sickness. Come into agreement with healing and health that Jesus paid the price for on the cross. He was hung up for your hang-ups and mine. If you've never accepted Jesus, just say, Jesus, I feel your presence. I want you now. I sent you knocking on the door of my heart. I invite you in. I believe you died on the cross, were buried in the tomb, and on the third day you were raised from the dead. By the power of God, write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I want to go to heaven and be free from the bondage of sin, sickness, hell, torment and witchcraft spirits. 
I choose Jesus as Lord and Savior. Jesus, take me as I am. You love me just as I am, but you love me too much to leave me in this condition. Thank you for your angels that minister and break the chains and set me free from bondage. Clean me up, transform me. Get me a Bible, Lord. I want to read your word. Holy Spirit, teach me. Visit me in dreams and visions and show me the path of righteousness. Send your angel to speak in my ear to guide me in the path straight. I receive you, Lord Jesus, and I receive the ministry of angels. Joanna? Mm -hmm. Yes, and Father, I pray for those who are trapped in bitterness right now, Lord, and they're angry at you, God, because they thought you didn't answer. And I pray that your love, Lord Jesus, would touch them right now, touch you in Jesus' name. I pray God's love touches you right now because he understands the pain that you've been through for your loss. He understands the pain of betrayal. He knows that all too well because he was betrayed up on the cross so that you could live and I could live and so that you could be healed. Don't let the enemy rob you of your healing anymore. Don't let the enemy rob you of your joy anymore because you're stuck in that old place. <laughs> I pray now, Jesus, that you would help them, God and deliver them, Lord God, right now. And we command the angel of the Lord to lay hands on them right now in Jesus' name. And release your will of healing. And release your will of forgiveness and salvation and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. I'm also just sensing God's doing an ear healing. There's a partially deaf ear that God's healing right now. And the same way that God is opening up your ear physically, He's also opening up your heart to hear Him spiritually. And He's doing the outward demonstration of a physical healing for you. And simultaneously, it's shifting your heart. You say, I've never really believed. I've cried out to the Lord, but I haven't seen the healing. So I just declare that thing opens. There it goes. In Jesus' name, I also command infection down in the Eustachian tube to be cleansed completely right now by the Word of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the blood of the Lamb. There's also uh, somebody with uh, blood disease, you know, incurable. Though your wound is incurable, declares the Lord, I will heal, declares the Lord. I just declare a divine exchange of your blood that's been infirm, sick, poisoned in a way. I just declare a blood transfusion by the ministry of angels right now. And I just release a divine blood transfusion by the Holy Ghost. I command your blood to be made clean in Jesus' name. I'm quickened to a verse. It says, if you say unto this mountain, Mark 11, 23, 24, 25. If you say unto this mountain, speak unto the mountain, speak, proclaim unto the mountain, speak unto your own body, speak unto your own blood system, come into agreement with heaven's will and come out of agreement with hell's will. Step away and speak to the mountain of sickness, the blood disease, name it out of your own mouth and say, blood disease, I command you to dry up and to die in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Command sickness and disease in my body to dry up and die. I'm seeing God do a healing in the area of eyes right now. There's cataracts that are dissolving by the Holy Spirit. Vision that was impaired. There's a milky substance in, in somebody. And the Lord's now just wiping it away. You just find that God is just cleaning your eyes right now. I don't have to call out your healing for God to minister to you. He's your God as well as He's my God. You call on Him, He'll do it for you because He loves you. 
it is his good pleasure to demonstrate his love and his glory unto you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. And I just pray right now, Lord God, for the woman that's been infertile and she's not been able to have any children, Lord God. And right now, we just release your glory into her womb, Lord, to awaken her womb in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that bring healing in those places where she was barren, Lord God, that she would no longer be barren, but she would be full of fruit, fruit of the Lord, fruit of the vine in the womb. In Jesus' name, I speak, you are well. You are whole, you are loved, how he loves you, how he loves you, how he heals you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a nice presence of the Lord is flowing right now. If you're ever in Southern California, we have an equipping service about once a month. It's 6.30 p.m. on a Sunday night and the Ministry of Angels has been showing up in a magnificent way as the number one challenge we have in the service is getting people to leave. Nobody wants to leave the presence of God. It seems like sometimes people just want to be in His presence and we appreciate and honor that and we like to stay as late as we can. But when the ministry of angels is present, the presence of God is tangible, healings take place, torment is broken off people's lives. Women who've been damaged or fractured, as Joanna prays over them and crowns them as a princess of the King of Heaven, as often happens in the services, their identities are restored and they realize they're loved of God. Sometimes women who've had hearing problems or duck feet, once they've been ministered to with the love of God and find out who they really are in Christ, they'll go and look in the mirror and as they see the love that begins to shine out of their own eyes by the Holy Spirit as they get healed from fractured souls and reintegrated, what happens is physical healings take place. One woman had been uh, ear problems for 60 years. Joanna, you want to share that story? Yes. Um, she, we were at a service in uh, San Diego and she initially came up to David for prayer and uh, asked for healing in her ears and nothing happened. He prayed for her and usually God always answers. And this time nothing was happening so he sent her over to me. So I began to pray for her and then I saw an image of her being um, yelled at by her father. I saw her as a little girl. She had her hands up over her ears and she's shaking her head. She didn't want to hear what was happening. She didn't want to hear what was going on and because it was hurtful. And so ever since then, um, what she had done was come into accidental agreement with not wanting to hear. And she had been deaf for like 30 years, almost 90% deaf. So when I asked her about that image, I said, you know, was there abuse in your, in your background? And she said, no, she was in denial about it. And I said, okay, so uh, I prayed some more and then I asked her a different way. And I said, oh, did your dad talk loudly when you were growing up? And then she said, yes, my dad used to yell at me, used to scream at me all the time. And I said, well, the Lord wants to integrate you. So I began to pray for the, the dissociated part that was broken in that trauma of those incidents for her. And we prayed for God to integrate her and make her whole. And I broke off the lies because she had lies about herself and she had made a vow, an unconscious vow about not wanting to hear. And so after we did those things and we took her through some renunciations, and then I prayed for hear, her ear hearing and I said, Jesus, I pray right now that you release hearing unto her. And I pray right now that her hearing be fully restored and we break off everything that has come against her in Jesus' name. And uh, we asked her if she could hear. She says, yes. So then we had someone go uh, about three feet away, then five feet away, then 10 feet away. And she could hear 10 feet away with no hearing aids. And there was a ton of people with background noise and she could hear it all. Thank you, Jesus. David. And, and what to add to that story, she was facing the opposite direction. So she wasn't reading lips. She was faced the opposite direction and she could hear. We often see hearing miracles in the services. It's one of the things the Lord has been doing in the last three years, really, 
and it's just accelerated. And uh, so we just want to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, if you just put a finger in your ear as an act of faith, the one that's, that's not functioning properly, whether it's completely deaf, whether you've never even been able to hear out of it, had no body parts whatsoever, God has released often uh, creative miracles throughout the earth because he's not lacking body parts. That's right. He wants to give you whatever you need to be whole. He wants to give you whatever you need to be That's whole. Right. He wants to give That's you right. whatever you need to be whole. So I just release from the Lord whatever you need to be whole, whether it's in the area of your ears or a hip, or maybe you need a new kidney. We just release the creative, miracle-working angels of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God who loves you and gave himself on the cross for you. Just begin to get up and do what you couldn't do before. And please, you know, send us an email and let us know. We'd love to share your testimony of what Jesus has done. Because your testimony of what he's done for you inspires others. Faith rises up as the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. It speaks prophetically off your testimony, what Jesus has done for you. And when someone hears it, the Holy Spirit, who's no respecter of persons, will then do it for them too. I'm David, my wife, Joanna, with virtualchurchmedia.com. Come join us at a service in Orange, California at the River 47 Church. We've got a monthly equipping, outpouring, healing, That's miracle right. service. Also, we encourage you to get the Ministry of Angels, the four CD series. You can go on our website at virtualchurchmedia.com. And I believe it's $25, free shipping in the United States. And people that listen to this series get a release of God's supernatural often in their lives and their lives are transformed through the ministry of angels. Four ways to receive the ministry of angels to activate them. Prayer, the presence of God through fasting and spending time at his feet, proclamation, speaking his word out. Mm -hmm. And four is sacrificial giving or paying vows, generous giving. If you want to sow a seed online. We appreciate you helping us get the gospel out to the nations through virtual church media. God bless you. And God we'll bless see you. you. Bye bye. Next time. We love you. Yes. The ministry of angels. That's right.